Thank you, Misha. Well, President Trump could have a new tax bill on his desk later today. The GOP's plan to overhaul the U.S. tax system has cleared the Senate and is headed back to the House today. Now, to news reporter Dan Carabello is live in the CBS3 News Center to break down how this tax bill will impact the majority of Americans. Jan. Well, it depends on who you ask, right? Democrats say this bill only benefits the rich and corporations. Republicans, on the other hand, say the bill helps the American middle class. Now, according to the GOP, for a family of four earning $73,000 a year, the bill will mean a tax cut of more than $2,000. The Tax Cuts and Jobs Act is passed. The Senate overnight gave the nod to the Republican tax reform bill in a vote along party lines. Moments later, President Trump tweeted, in part, the United States Senate just passed the biggest in history tax cut and reform bill. We now add comprehensive tax reform, major middle class tax relief, and making our businesses, both large and small, more competitive around the world. Independent studies find that most taxpayers will save anywhere from $60 to $51,000 next year, depending on their income. But by 2027, 53% of taxpayers will pay more than before. Savings for the most wealthy, however, will continue to rise. While Republicans insist future Congresses will prevent those tax hikes, Democrats on the Senate floor spent Tuesday arguing it should be this Congress making that choice. What has been sold as a middle class miracle will instead deliver a hefty windfall to the wealthy. The far right architects of this tax plan are going to be coming for your Social Security and Medicare before you take your Christmas tree down. The House voted to pass the bill yesterday, but afterwards, three changes had to be made to provisions that violate Senate rules. House lawmakers now plan to take up the legislation again today before sending it to the president's desk. Some other details now from this new tax plan. It roughly doubles the standard deduction up to $12,000 for individuals and $24,000 for married couples filing jointly. The bill also increases the child tax credit from $1,000 to $2,000. This tax plan includes a repeal of the Obamacare individual mandate. And here's a big one. Tax filers will be able to write off the cost of state and local taxes, but only up to $10,000. And filers must choose from among sales, income, and property taxes for that deduction instead of being able to deduct all local taxes. Now, the president says if this bill is passed this morning by the House, there will be a news conference at the White House at 1 p.m. Of course, we will be watching. For now, we're live in the News Center. Jan Carabello, CBS3 Eyewitness News. Jim Rahel, back into you. All right, Jan, thank you.